What was the word that was said? It's all the latest scandal online these days. Was it the word Jew or was it the word puke? Well, I decided that after listening to it uh, five or six times, it sounded like it was the word puke and not Jew. But let's take a look at it in something a little bit more concrete than my 50-some-odd-year-old ears. What I did was I took the original video and I clipped out the word in question. And I converted the audio to waveform, which you can see here, the original clip at the top with the word in question. Then I recorded myself saying the word Jew, which we can see here in the middle row. And I also recorded myself saying the word puke, which we can see here on the bottom row. Now, which waveform looks most like the original? Neither one of them are a perfect match, and, well, that's because I'm not a excited protester uh, standing in front of Justin Trudeau yelling and screaming. I did this at my dining room table in a pretty much normal voice, but we can still see some differences here. If we look at the middle row where I said the word Jew, you can see these high waveforms at the beginning, and then it tapers directly off into almost an even waveform until at the very end where it diminishes very quickly into nothing. If we look at the original, it doesn't do that at all. There's a slightly higher waveform at the beginning. It goes down to almost nothing. And then at the very end, where presumably the letter K is pronounced, you can see it increasing again until it cuts off very, very suddenly. Compare that to the bottom row where I have myself saying the word puke. And you can actually see that it's a lot closer to the original. There's a fairly even stream at the beginning. Then it diminishes into something fairly level. Slight peak at the end. So, you for yourself. Let's actually move this one up a little bit. Can we do that? Yes, we can do that. Let's track up. There we go. Now you can see it a little bit more clearly. In the middle, the word puke. At the bottom, the word Jew. Compare it to yourself with your own eyes as to the original here at the top. I hate to tell everybody, but it does appear that uh, if you didn't say the word she, they, whatever, didn't say the word puke, they sure as heck didn't say the word Jew. More than likely, the word used was puke. There it is in waveform where you can actually see consonants, vowels, and the word being pronounced in a visual manner. And that is what we came up with. So again, it certainly does look like it was the word puke and not the word Jew. Maybe that'll settle something. I doubt it. But people are going to argue anyway. So in the meantime, remember, folks, be prepared, Canada. It's a tough world out there.